Hello and welcome to Queen Studios. In this video, we're going to share 12 tips on how to take care of your silicone collectibles. Stick around and learn more. So let's get started with tip number one, dust with a brush. In everyone's house, dust does collect from time to time, but that is not a big problem for these kind of collectibles. With every Queen Studios collectible bust or statue, we will include a small brush and you can use that to gently dust off any excess dust that might be on the collectible. It won't harm it at all, it's just something that collects and you can just dust it away. If for some reason you don't have a brush, a makeup brush will do just fine. Okay, tip number two, invest in an air purifier. If you live in a big city environment or you have your um, display room very close to a kitchen, anywhere where people smoke, then an air purifier is just gonna help. The air purifier can take some dust away from the air, any excess chemicals in the air, anything like that. That will help increase the lifespan of your bust. Not necessarily gonna harm it, but it's just good to do anyway and air purifiers these days are relatively inexpensive. Tip number three. This one is a styling tip. So once the bust or statue has made its way to your house, you're going to want to make it look as good as possible and that includes some hair styling. So when you are styling the hair, you can use a hair dryer. Even though the silicone can withstand high temperatures, it's just safe and wise to use a hairdryer on a low heat setting and you can brush and gently style until you get your bust or statue looking just the way you like. So definitely use this to style your collectible, but definitely don't use too high of a heat. Tip number four, keep away from UV light. So UV light, mostly from the sun, can actually affect the paint a little bit. Over time, it can make the paint fade and be a little more dull. It might not ruin the bust completely, but it could have an impact on the aesthetics. So if you do have one of these collectible busts or statues, keep out of the way of any direct sunlight. And make sure any lights that you use don't have too much UV in them. And then your bust will keep looking perfect for a long time. Tip number five, invest in a humidifier or a dehumidifier. If you live in a dry climate, then the bust could become chapped. So you could find a humidifier online to keep the moisture in the room and keep your bust looking perfect for a lot longer. If you live in a wet, humid environment, then your bust could create a small, waxy, oily looking texture on the outside. So that's easy to clear off, just use a makeup sponge and dab away, but a dehumidifier will reduce this and keep your bust looking perfect. Okay, tip number six. This one is maybe for family members, as maybe some of our collectors will know not to do this. But if you do have any air fresheners in the room or you have any aerosol sprays, keep away from the bust. This kind of aerosol chemical in the air is not good for the longevity, so definitely keep away, maybe spray away from the collectible if you do need to refresh them. Tip number seven, keep away from excessive heat or heat sources. So that means obviously no smoking near the bust, maybe think about the positioning of any high heat lights and also keep away from any radiators or heaters. Over time, the heat could have an impact on the bust, even though they can withstand high temperatures because of the silicone that we use. So just for safety, longevity, keep away from any excessive heat. Tip number eight, keep away from sharp objects. When you're putting the bust or statue in place, make sure you don't have any sharp objects on your person, because if you do tear the silicone, it's almost irreparable. And that also goes for any visitors and guests, make sure they don't have any sharp objects around the bust or the statue, and then this will limit that uh, from happening. So definitely take care of your silicone by keeping away sharp objects. Tip number nine, might be unlikely, but just be careful on the off chance. 
So keep away from any ink or paint. Any ink or paint that gets onto the silicone is very, very difficult to remove. So for safety reasons, just make sure it's in a position where people won't get any ink or paint on the bust. Tip number 10, avoid excessive touching. So this is probably the hardest tip of all. When you see such an incredible, realistic, hyperreal statue or bust, you're going to want to touch and also friends and family want to touch as well. The issue is if you've got dirt or any oil in your hands, over time that might affect the silicone. So if you do have touchy-feely friends or family members, ask them to put on a pair of gloves, which we include with every collectible and avoid excessive touching with hands. Tip number 11, be careful or consider household activity. If you live in a house with pets or children, make sure you put your bust or statue out of harm's way. If these things fall, they're quite heavy and can break and they're very difficult to repair. So just be careful where you place your busts or statues. Most collectors know this, but it's just something to remember and keep in mind. The final tip, tip number 12, is listen to all the other 11 tips. In general, this silicone is made to last. It can last upwards of 25 years, so you don't have too much to worry about. These tips might seem a little bit daunting and might put you off, but actually it's no different to any other collectibles. So just be careful and mindful of your collectible and it should be fine. So to summarize, keep away from sharp objects, keep away from ink, any excessive heat sources, and definitely, definitely invest in a dehumidifier or an air purifier if you live in environments where the environment could actually affect the silicone. So they're the 12 tips. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments or get in touch with us online. Okay, thanks for watching the 12 tips to taking care of your silicone collectibles. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Drop the comments in the comments below if you do have any questions and we'll see you next time. Thanks again, goodbye.